good. I'm still getting stronger. I've found new power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. <laughs> Now then.
Got a moment? Take this. Indeed.
It'll be fine. I see. Should we? Finally. Hmm. So then. Hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Well then.
All right then. I must say. Yeah. Thanks. Listen.
It'll be fine. Obviously. Still. Even so.
know something? Hey, so... Listen. If you want my opinion. Right. Really now. All right, then. <laughs> Greetings. Interesting.
wyglądać. Moving on. The truth is, hmm. Listen. <laughs> 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 
So... Yes. Um... This here. Try not to die. Leave it to me. Yes. I have faith in you. Delightful.
What say you? I can hardly wait. You'll come again, won't you? Still getting stronger. Good night. Hey. The day of the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. One day remains. I think this is finally it. By the next sunrise, whoever has the most support will be the victor, chosen by the royal magic. We've gathered enough support to be a match for the Blackguard. But we could be undone by the slightest change in the winds. I mean, the royal scepter's in Luis's hands now. Whoever the royal magic picks, we'll still have to go stop him. It is a feat only we can accomplish. We'll get it done. And Del, you better be watching. No matter what happens, I will protect you. 
practice my oath. You'll come back, right? It feels just like it did on the day Papa left. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't cry. Oh. Don't worry. Everything will turn out fine. Right, Your Highness? I'll come back as king. Right. Then I won't cry. I'll wait for you. Luis seemed earnest in his wishes, at least. We'd be mistaken to cast him as a villain of pure black and white. But whatever his motives, it doesn't change the fact that his methods amount to massacre. Even if there's more to Luis's arguments than it seemed, you're all my friends. We've come this far together, and I'll always believe in you over him. Yes, I agree. Just a sentiment you know we all share. Let us vanquish Luis and rebuild our country. I am glad we travel as friends. I thought that the reason we are less susceptible to the Magla's maddening power was thanks to our mastery of the archetypes. But perhaps it's something else. We just need someone with whom our hearts connect. Someone who is willing to face the same anxiety alongside us and to move forward. Indeed. I too was a slave to my despair. But you all helped me find my way back. I know I'd be lost without you. Weren't we all at some point? Oh, this is getting a bit syrupy, even for me. Let's just make sure we survive. So the people of a new kingdom can hear our tales. Then we better have a proper bash once we're back safe and sound. You let the good lady Fabian know we're reserving the place. Hey, Maria? Okay, I'll ask her to cook something delicious too. Now that'd be a treat. She cooked this fantastic red grass beedo the first time I was here, and it's been on my mind since. By request, I've pushed the Skyrunner to her absolute limits too. On my honor as a right, I swear the old girl will get us there in one piece. Bit of a one-way trip, though. Can't promise a return flight. Well, we're used to improvising escape routes. Tomorrow we settle this, once and for all. fight to them. It's a vortex of tremendous magic. The magla in the air is so dense I can almost grasp it in hand. Nyoras! That was not an encouraging sound. Lost! So much for the armored hull. Come up, man! You have to find a way through this! Well... Consequences can come later. I'm taking off her limiters. Hold on. Come on, old girl. We're partners. Keep it together. It is not so much a place as it is raw magla, furious and unchecked. The shores of the hereafter spill forth from the royal scepter, now in the hands of Luis. If it is the sun that proclaims the day, and the moon that ushers the night, 
than the celestial lord of these red skies. Ill with anxiety is the tyrant star. We await tidings, be they favorable or ruinous. The future of the kingdom will at last be decided. Ah, close shave. Rather too close. But we made it. But that rattling doesn't sound too clever. I think this is as far as the old girl goes. It's broken? But what about our way back? Calm down, old thing. I'll try some repairs. It's just I've never seen her in such a bad way. Tis as we expected, then. We have no escape routes. Well, if things get rough out there, you can give me a shout. Still got the bunks if you need some rest to pull yourself together. Right. Let's move. At last! Right. 
Hunter can fight her. I can feel greater power within. Impressive as ever. What now? New possibilities. I see. Fascinating. I'm counting. I found new power. Getting stronger. I found new power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. new power. New skills, new possibilities. Getting stronger. That's fascinating. I'm counting. I found new power. I fascinate. I'm counting. Still getting stronger. I can feel greater power. Uh, 
New possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. Ah! <laughs> 
Possibilities. Yeah. I knew we could count on you. Yeah. 
A new ability. Wow, we can use 
good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. I confess, I did not believe you would actually survive, Gorky. Oh, please! Think about what you're trying to achieve! Nothing could stop us from getting to you! I can accept that you hate injustice. Maybe we do share that. But I have to ask, Luis, why go to this extreme? Is it because you're Elder? You saw your village destroyed for petty, evil reasons. Is this revenge? Revenge? Ludicrous, that would accomplish nothing. An entire tribe does not become so derided to the point of genocide by authority figures alone, but by the vice of the society in which that ignorance is born. Indeed, it would be equally petty of me to take only the heads of the few familiar guilty. For my own satisfaction, no less. No, I would not repay injustice with injustice. Then why? You drew the entire nation into your scheme without hesitation. If not revenge, then what would compel you to such ends? It is true that I was born in the ancient center, but I never held any fondness for that place. The Elder have long lived in hiding, clutching the truths of the world to themselves alone. A tribe of doors locked and secrets encoded. I wanted to change that isolation. At long last, a man from outside the village came to visit. None other than your father, Prince. That's... The royalty, he dreamed that the tribes might stand side by side as equals. And he rejected none of our village's history, however inconvenient to his world view. I saw him with the eyes of a child. And for the first time, I felt a dream stir. Were there more idealists like him in the world outside? Was my life of hiding at an end? Under the canopy of that gloom-thick forest, all I wanted was to leave and live upon the open plains beneath a wider sky. That was all. 
As for what happened to the ancient sanctum afterwards, it is a story you've already been told. It was set aflame and crushed beneath the church's heel. The Sanctus warrior monks and ordinary guardsmen alike, all in the palm of Forden's hand. Neighbors and kin I'd known all my life were soon nothing but ash on the wind. Too quick to realize their own deaths. I was but a child, trembling before a wall of fire. It was a massacre. It had nothing to do with any hate on either side, or retaliation for any perceived offense. It was only pure injustice. A selfish act of devastation. One thought alone burned my mind. I would never let it happen again. And so did I walk onward. It was tragic. Thus, I choose to make this a land of eternal, perfect equality. Even should it cost my life, I shall return the anxieties endowed upon this scepter and let it be heard. To burden others with your own fears and responsibilities is cowardice. My royal magic shall craft a world where that cannot be. Such cowardice dies. There are other solutions. I'm impressed that you didn't end up obsessed with revenge. But you act like it's wrong for people to trust each other. Luis! You're not describing a nation that condemns evil. You're describing a nation that's entirely blind to it. A land of amoral beasts, not people. In the end, I think you're still trapped. You've been stuck in that night of flames all your life. You don't trust anyone. That's why you can only imagine a world apart from you. Unless you can face that anxiety within yourself, then... You're no different from everyone you've rejected. So be it. From the beginning, I have championed world order determined by power. All that remains is for me to realize my truth by burying you beneath it. You are not the sole wielders of these lost archetypes. I am Luis, bearer of the royal scepter. With only a thought, the power of kings is mine to command. What? Behold, and I will reveal the secrets still beyond you. Come, we decide our world's future here. Consumed with anxiety as it has never been before. All of it, foundation for my new, better world. You are but an audience, powerless to tread on history's stage. Let it begin. We fight for your ideal world. Come forth, royal soul. This is it! I've 
gonna show you. This is my great thing, Juna. I can do this. Now they're weak to something new. Healing power. That helped. Helpful as ever. Thank you. Warrior! Guards up and eyes forward. That is helpful. Very good. By all means, challenge me. Stake everything you have on this battle. I will face your convictions head on and crush them. This is but my first step towards my ideal world. There is no hope for you. Face my wrath. There is no hope for you. That's not good. Come to me. Reese is gathering an unbelievable amount of magla around him. We can't let him finish whatever he's doing. Try to interrupt his attack somehow. Focus your attack. Some close cops. Let's go. The magic seed. I'll give you the performance. Moving to the front. Moving back. This is just what I need. Give me strength. I shall put them all on the line. You got in their weakness. Time to go offensive, please. Not done yet. Vita's power. This is it. Still here? Watch me. This might be too much. We've won this one. So the power I have now is not enough. The Magla drawn to the Royal Scepter has faded more than I expected. Just as I thought. I would be a fool to underestimate you. But I made a decision that day. Even if history remembers me as a Destructor King, I will put an end to the injustices of this world. What? What are you? I commend you. Clearly no half measures will do. If I am to take your lives, I must stake my own. And all its power. Damn! We can't get close! Tis tremendous aura! I have a vision. And you will interfere with it no longer. Gauntlet runner. Luis still has the royal scepter. If we let him buy time, there's no telling what he'll do. Call out to yell. We can't even go after him. There's no time to go back down to land and reorganize. We'll do whatever it takes to get that scepter back before the dawn. Suicide lad. Oh, suppose it's too late to back down now. <sighs> well, I was saving some reserve power for the trip home, but if we're using it here, 
Chums, batten down the hatches and brace for the storm. Hop to it now, get in! I'll just fire up the... Look over there! Enemies! Ugh, of all times! Wait, how many are there? Where did they all come from? He's trying to slow us down. Ain't like Luis to put off a fight, but I suppose he's too cornered to be picky anymore. Hold on! The old girl's still barely holding together. She can't take off that quickly. What do we do? Your Highness, you get in the runner first. We'll buy you some time for takeoff. We can fight them together. No. Even if we get the Skyrunner off the ground, it'll all be for naught if anything happens to you. <sighs> no need to fuss anyway. Just kick them around for a bit while preparations are underway. Does that work for everyone else? Fine. Suppose I'll keep you company. Had you not suggested it, I would have done so myself. What else are we gonna do? Twiddle our thumbs inside while Nurus is all the way. Nurus, don't let us down now. Right. I'll get it done, damn it. Hop in, your highness. Well, let's do this. We hold the line! We must endure this. to me, old man. Thought you ate Parapus. Aye, it's true. I don't understand you, and I never will. But I know I don't hate you, boy. <laughs> Let's go! Aye! Aye. Go 
want to. We can't go back now. We have to. Take cover in the back. You made my dreams come true. You and the rest of them. If we live, we'll meet again. What? What are you? <laughs> Let's fly! You've lost everything, and yet still here you stand. I must say your audacity is almost admirable. However, you rejected me, and I will not relinquish the royal scepter. Since we cannot come to terms, we can only decide this through battle. I have but one final question. Prince, do you wish to stop me? Or do you wish to be king? What is it you truly want? It doesn't matter. <sighs> you must hold ideals of your own. When will such empty ambitions come to fruition, I wonder? In life's balance, dreams that don't come true are equal to lies, but it hardly matters now. My ascension is complete. With my own hands, I will tear apart these lie-laced dreams and bury the past. Here ends the royal bloodline and the legacy of the archetypes. We stand on the threshold of a new dawn, a new age. I can't listen to any more of this. What new age? What do you know about him? All you do is destroy. You refuse to believe in dreams. That's why you can't believe in anything that's gradual, complicated, and slow to change. All that means is that you give up on everything. You'll never beat us. You're nothing but a coward, trying to escape this reality for one you made up. The time for words has passed. So be it. Quintessential force of the archetype. Is this all? Such strength! How? It's happening so quickly! Behold! This is the Royal Scepter's potential. Resist no longer. As I said, I would rather not force needless death upon you. Embrace it once more. Take your true form and become worthy of my new world.
You are unfazed by the melancholy. Yet you thirst. Drink deep of the magic. Obstacles are clear. The boy is no more. Wake up! Please! You have to wake up. Remember what happened? What you've done? I've ripped out my... I'm frankly amazed you would go to such lengths, even to fight back against the spell. If I hadn't saved you, you really would be dead. But rest assured, we're finally safe. As for where we are, we are far, far away from that hellish world. Do you remember the first time we met? I was sure you would find a clue in your journey that might reveal where in the world this place is. So I believed anyway, but I was wrong. From the start. This place is... It was never of that world to begin with. No. Maybe there's a better way to put it. This is a place that exists between reality and fantasy. In other words, the world we've been living in is fantasy. The journey was all an illusion. An illusion? There's nothing but despair in that world. And it will never get better. It's an endless, painful, irredeemable hell. I'd always believed that creating a utopia was possible. And if there was desire, then I thought maybe one day someone would achieve it. But I came to realize I was mistaken. In the end, a fantasy is just that. A fantasy. But all that primordial chaos only exists in that world. The world of reality is nothing like that. Really, it's an environment you should know quite well. You've come to know so much of it already through text on a page. Now. Behold! Isn't this... Indeed. It's the world I wrote accounts of in my novel. Until now, you've thought this world a mere fantasy. But it's not. So the world I know is all an illusion. And the world of the novel is... reality? Surely you already know. There is no deadly magic, no prejudice between its people. <laughs> now, all you have to do is admit that everything you've been through has been nothing but a story. Just a fantasy. 
then this can be your perfect reality. Your journey of revolution was just a passing dream. Let me take you back to reality, child. What will happen to my friends? You don't have to worry. As long as you can accept that this place is real, everyone will be safe. That world is past any point of redemption. Change is impossible. The royal magic was supposed to be the turning point, but it was all for nothing. In the end, people don't want their world to change. They just want someone to be a sponge for their infinite anxieties. That's all. You can't blame Luis for wanting to end that cycle. How could anyone accept that they lived in a world that miserable? Even so, I don't want to give up on it. What? My, such disbelief on your face. But once you stop to consider it, the ideas fall apart. Come now, magic. Some otherworldly force capable of anything with anxiety as its fuel? A fanciful idea to sustain a fantasy world. Illusion, all of it. Those curiosities in academia, they were there because of the place's connection to true reality. And not even they could endure. You still don't believe me. Why is that? I still have unfinished business. But why? What unfinished business remains in an unwinnable battle? If I hadn't saved you, you would have died there. You don't have to chase your fears and anxieties based on some misguided concept of justice. It was all illusory, and there is no shame in accepting that. Reality is a monolith. Reality is unchangeable. So stay here in Utopia, in the place you loved reading about so much. This place, it isn't a Utopia. Deny it? Will you deny that the world of the novel is utopia? I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the world a little easier, right? Journey, my friends. They were as real as anything I've known. Why won't you understand? Please, I don't want you to die. I, I, I can't lose anything else. Truly, I, I, ah, ah, God, ah, ah. I see. I understand now. I remember. I had indeed lost everything. Despite my lofty ideals, I lost everything. Academia, the woman I loved, even my only child. Reality isn't just cruel. It's cruel beyond any hope of change. That's why I had wished for someone to strike me down and end my misery. Who are you? Me. If I were to call myself by a name you know, my name is Ethlodius V. I once reigned as king. Or, I am half of one, to be accurate. I was born of the very magic that split the prince in twain, and gave rise to you and this place. No, it is not real. We are inside the book you hold. It served as your key to visiting me. This was the form of my youth. 
when first I entered the ancient sanctum. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best to call me a discarded shadow of idealism. I once took such joy and passion from my ideals. I truly believed that I might end the strife and discrimination that plagued our people across nigh endless years. But the tremendous incomprehension and injustice that defines our world, it was more than I could bear. It broke me. And Luis is likely going through the same thing. I want to save you from that despair. I understand now that I... I would do this as your father. I could not bear to lose my child a second time. If you stay here, at least you'll be saved. Do you truly still want to leave this place and risk your life to face a reality you can't change? not over yet. You are on the cusp of dying at Luis's hands. Is that not proof enough that we lack the power to change reality? I can't let you throw your life away against that man. I must stop you. Even if you come to hate me for it. Fantasy is a curse, sweet in seeming. And if I must save you from it, I will teach you what reality is. I suppose how I promised to travel the world someday is destined to be only another unfulfilled dream. Archetypes embody the power of heroes who sought to change the world. And even having mastered such power against Luis, you could accomplish nothing. I wrote all my ideals into my novel, but my love's death showed me how empty it all was. You cannot sacrifice your one life for an empty dream! I don't want to turn my back on my ideals. Why can't you see that those ideals will only invite ruin? If no one else, you must live. That world is beyond your help, beyond any utopia. You must face reality, my son. I won't hold back! Still here? So you would vainly struggle onward in the real world. The novel I wrote for you seems to have kindled only ideals of naivete in you. Then even my folly has come to haunt you. My mistakes poison your life. As your father, you leave me no choice. I will put an end to this madness! Why? Yeah. Oh. It was in this story, in this book, where you found your ideals. Haven't you always dreamt of Utopia? Why did you resist it now? Why refuse me? It's okay. <laughs> Why? You were my first reader. You of all people have to understand. This is for your sake. I will show you the truth! By this power! So this is what it means to truly strive toward an ideal. What irony. After I spoke of fulfilling my dream alongside you. the archetypes brought to such heights in so little time. If you go back now, your ambitions will avail you nothing. You'll only die a dog's death. What is it that drives you so?
I'm not sure myself. Are you this determined to cling to your beliefs? Is that truly what separates us and keeps me confined here? Such power. Can it be? No matter how dire your fate, you never gave up. You surmounted every barrier, gathered and united soul after soul. And, and now, at last, across three nations, eight tribes, and humankind, to unite heroes across such abyssal divides would require surpassing power. The king of all archetypes. Is that the role you would seize? A true king in body and soul. Do you hear me? Your Highness! Oi! Wake up, Your Highness! How? Their voices reach you? Even here? It would seem your future is not yours alone to decide. My friends are waiting for me. The support and ardor of your allies. Yes. The very power that reveals paths beyond your own perspective. I see. That is whence you draw your power. Neglect anxiety, and magic will lead to ruin. Even before the War of Destruction, the downfall was foretold. Yet still, they met their prophesied end. Perhaps archetypes are the will of humankind of old, left to us. A plea that we learn from their failures, that we might rebuild the future writ from them. I have to try. I want to know how far I can go. Fascinating. Even as you face down the gravest oppression of reality, still you persist. Still you seek the world's unknowns as precious possibility, I see. Well, if you can believe there is more to the story than the end I see, then it is yours to tell. Once you return to reality, this place will surely fade as the dream it is. I, myself, will not be spared. Unlike you, my other half is long gone. And any reunion, lost. But if I truly am the idealized soul and hope of your father, then before I fade, I entrust you with the power of my life. Not as the author more, but as your father, the king.
I'm getting stronger. If there is yet any value to believing in something beyond us, prove to me that fantasy has the power to color reality. Now, onward, O oh, King of a New Dawn! Considering it was we who engaged Amata's Gambit, this must be rather humorous to him. We pulled through. Thanks to Neorus. Can't believe he caught us mid-plummet on that busted Skyrunner. Well, don't leave out Heiz, mate. Wouldn't have expected his wings to be so handy. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> We're in good shape. Our wounds have already healed. It was all so fast. I'm still a little shocked. True. It's bound to be everyone hoping the best for us below. Mm. Like what Louise did. Only the magic working in reverse. Huh? What? <laughs> Why? Why do you still stand in defiance? What drives such tenacity? Louise, the world is full of injustice. Not everything you've said is wrong, much as it hurts to admit. Yet, you would give up because you see no other way. And no future can come from that. We may struggle with fear and anxiety, but we shape our own destiny with our own hands. I have no doubts. Yes, you're a man who has endured tragedy. It's foolish, I know, all this talk of belief. I know well. That said, if you cast aside all belief, all that remains is to endure a slow death. As for me, I believe things can change. I have to. Singing and believing aren't so far apart, right? Even then, my songs touched you too. I know they did. After I'd idealized my death more than I ever did my life, thanks to a chance encounter, Everything changed for me. Now I can hope for the best, without fearing for the worst. The possibilities are endless. If you ask me, that's what magic is. Luis, you got all these people who believe in you, because you gave them a shred of hope. And now, you want to crush that hope? Maybe you're the one who's scared. Deep down, you're afraid to admit to yourself you're the one who's hopeless now. Louise, the fairies came to live in the Sanctum. But do you know why we chose it? 
the Elder Tribe. We admired the people of humanity. To make our dreams into realities, we have to trust each other. When people do that, that's what makes them so amazing. If you deny the power of trust, if you make the world a place where it can't exist, then you're just plain wrong! Fools. These false foundations. Who in their right mind could promise such fantasies? I will never let injustice be repeated. Never again! His aura is entirely different. It's a, a magla burst. Luis is becoming a human. Come on, then! No choice now. We prove ourselves with all that we are! <clears throat> Let's go, then! This is our final battle! Again, the world must be shattered, and again it must be rebuilt anew. You will die in tribute to my ideals, Prince. He will win this. For the sake of our world. Prince! The magic seeds! <sighs> I'll give you the- I'll show you! <laughs> Come on! Follow me! But my face! My well, thanks! Thank you! I pray you're ready for victory! Let's do this! Shiva! Subsume the weak. Now, be a noble sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself to the new age. What? Is he? Is he trying to swallow those people? Wait, they're puppets? I'll figure something out. Hear my prayer. Sensing deadly magma in the puppet. Ah! Attack him before he swallows more! I'll cut you down! Yes! The puppet magma's fading! I will fight Kung Force, Royal Soul! Come let's set it up! Maybe there's a bit I won't hold back! This is it! Strong! I call Think of the Royal Soul! No holding back! Hack and slash! Not done yet! Royal Soul! And its people! The magic seed! Still up? I behold this power! This might sting! Then I can do this! I shall put all on the line! You struggle in vain. Give in to the truth. 
Your fantasy has no meaning whatsoever. As the noble I am, I shall vanquish evil. For well, time to go offensive, I call upon royal power within. Behold, charging in. Moving to the rear, closing the distance. Ah! Hack and slash. Tougher than I thought. Luis's mental strength would lose his grip on sanity. 
In the end, even he couldn't escape his own anxiety. Then by his own logic, we've got to put him down. The weak deserve to die. The bastard's own words, yeah? If he saw a threat in our power, then let us wield it. You can't just believe in nothing. Nobody can rely on themselves alone. It's a pitiful way to live, and it's time we put an end to it. Louis Squeerburn! Here and now, I will strike you down. Okay, it's time to do this. Give us our final call to arms. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Look at all that magma. Huh? We can't afford to lose. Way? Take it! My thanks! Watch Whoa. me! No need to rush Looks like we can brute force through this one! Shall perish. I call upon a royal soul! Let's go! Great job, Juna! I pray you're ready! We do something new! In your fantasy! It is your turn! Yeah. You behave! Oh, they're weak! I shall fight as the noble I am! Oh, 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 o
Let's try this. To hold back. He's gonna have a hard time landing hits. Let's trade places. New face, Hulk and Buzz. You've got a bunch of ailments slowing you down, Captain. Power. Maybe not. Forward. Three. This is it. Hey, don't get sloppy, Captain. The Nidia. A foolish people, fearing and denying solitude, be gone from this world. What's happening?
This skill.
My turn. You there is no way to get back in your fantasy. Maybe lend me your strength.
They take my fullest power. I must do something. I knew you'd help. My thanks. Thanks. Stay insane in a fight? Not bloody likely. You better be ready. You're out. Let's take home. Beat him down, Lucilio. This is it. You chief. A foolish people, terrified of alienation. Be gone from this world. He's got a power that can wipe out an entire tribe. We have to do something. mean he's won? I'm not dreaming this. <gasps> he did it! <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I have my ideals. Witness! A 
Everyone's fighting their fear and anxiety. Nobody knows for sure what's right. And even through all that, the people have declared you king! We fight for more than justice. Show him our will against his. Show him the fall of his world! Hold fast to your ideals! Tis your sworn duty as king! You wielded the power of kings! It's time to stop following their footsteps! Now it's your turn to take your place with them! Your fantasy is naught but lies! What? What's going on? The lord that governs Utopia in all worthy champions. The hero's archetype. The king. I see. At long last, fantasy has become a force that frees people from anxiety. A harbinger of change for a deadlocked reality. The people have chosen my son. With that, my tremendous gamble hath borne fruit. Thus it is that my duty here draws to a close. And now, the novel you wrote with such passion will finally begin a new chapter. This voice... Is that... could it be? But how? While flames swept through the sanctum, I cast a final spell to abandon my body and survive in soul. I became an immaterial being among the fairies. I had to, so I might provide guidance to the child on his most perilous path. The power of the archetypes. Was that your doing? No. All I did was awaken them to it. My voice carried the words they needed to hear. That power is no great and rare treasure. It is something that might be grasped by anyone with the will to change the world. And anyone has the power to change the world. Those children proved as much. Now, that boy has grasped the courage of a warrior. All dragons who still roamed the continent have fallen by his hand. For what greater embodiment of the impossible is there than a dragon? And he now possesses the power and will to quell those forces. I see. Then he is not so weak a child that I must hold his hand. I am truly sorry. I lost all the power I once knew. 
I saw the sanctum burn. And you. I lost you. Once they took our child from me, all my remaining hope went with him. And so I placed my faith in the royal magic. I believe that if this world would choose him, there would still be hope. This shall do. That boy's fight, and ours, is finally over. The people no longer need some mystic relic or some lofty magics to soothe their fears. They have found the strength to overcome it within, provided they can turn their anxiety into strength and never stop walking toward the unknown. Reality will ever change. Their world shall be one full of possibility. This isn't about the throne anymore. It marks the beginning of a new era, led by those who are truly worthy of the people's trust. Almost the appointed time now. The day is dawning on a new king's reign. And with it, my true passing. However, if I may truly end my life with pride in my boy and my love at my side, I've no regrets. It's been a long road to this moment, hasn't it? It has indeed. But for our son, a new journey now begins. Heed me, all people of the kingdom. Dawn breaks, and the appointed hour hath come. He speaks. With the announcement of our new king, everything finally ends. I now settle the long-contested succession to the throne. They who hath gathered the most faith from their subjects amassed, they who have overcome this fierce contest, the throne's new sovereign, I now reveal. Behold, your new king of your kingdom united. Settle down. The tournament is over. Our new king has been decided. And the royal capital falls under his majesty's rule. Threaten it. And you shall face the wrath of the crown theocracy's warrior monks. Bloody fantastic. They really did it. Quietude descended once again upon the royal capital, and the day of the new king's coronation arrived. really crept up on us. There's a lot of people in the crowd. <sighs> Don't tell me you're nervous. 
After everything we survived already, stage fright should be nothing for you. All the same, my heart's pounding out of my chest. Is it? Nothing you're not used to then. It's just like with the archetypes. <laughs> just keep your head high. It'll be fine. We'll keep the crowd warmed up for you. Your newfound dignity suits you well, your highness. Ah, but I suppose you have outgrown that title. Your majesty. Yes, that too suits you well. By the way, saw some of them Senate fat cats hovering about. Acting like they've been supporting us from the start, of course. Always on the winning side, eh? Better than the alternative, no? Especially since we've got some Luis diehards among the people. I hear that many are concerned about his proficiency with statecraft. To be honest, I'm not so sure myself. Mm. Juna will stand as moderator at the podium. His Majesty will only be asked for a few brief answers. First, the people would know how you aim to lead them. How will you respond to that, Your Majesty? We have the power to change the world. All of us. I know I'm inexperienced, but I'll strive to do my utmost. With all of you at my side. That's fine. The people have about had it with pompous monologues. Better to say what you mean with determination. Still, there are a lot of people in the crowd who have never supported you. How are you going to respond to them? I'll have to let my work prove my words. With results, I hope everyone can feel that our future will be brighter. <laughs> you went from a nobody to the top seat in the nation. No need to puff up and bluster anymore, what? You'll do fine. A ruler must only stand tall. The rest is not done alone. We are with you. Indeed. And we're no strangers to more practical work. Whatever our tasks, I'm sure we can handle them. Well, it's time to make your first appearance as our king. Let us brace ourselves. Good luck! Thanks for always having my back. Well, let's go. To His Majesty. The new king! King, your subjects would hear how you intend to lead them. Relax, okay? Take it easy and use your own words. As a ruler, I have much to learn. I cannot say what I'll accomplish. And yet, I believe the world can change by our hand. And to that end, I will face any odds. Now, Your Majesty, a few more words. Naturally, some under your rule now supported other people in the race. How do you respond to their voices? There will be times I let you down. I know that. Only results can prove my intent. But still, even should you oppose your king, you can always believe in your own future. I will make sure of it! A nation where dreams and fantasies are always in reach will surely be a challenge. We'll make it happen. There you go. If you can pull that off, you'll be the finest king we've known. Well then, 
this is it. Your attention, please. <laughs> no lord remains for you to kneel before. Please take the crown with your own hands, my king. have I awaited the arrival of this day. This journey has reached its end. He came to know the goodness of a hero's heart and became the king his people had always hoped for. But as this journey ends, so another begins. I'd like you to watch over him on his bath for a little longer yet. One year has passed since the arrival of the new king. the news. They're finally reopening that mage academy that got closed down. You don't say. The famous one deep in the Monterio Mountains. Really? I'm impressed. It only took them a year. They've even paved a proper mountain road. And get this, their headmistress is none other than Lady Juno. What? The songstress? Well, she is one of the king's six partisans. If she managed to help save the world from Louise, I expect she knows a thing or two about magic. Sounds like they plan to fully open the magic researcher's findings to the people, too. Quite a turn from when the late Sanctifex banned it. Makes sense to me. After the clash between His Majesty and Luis last year, everyone knows you don't really need an igniter to use magic. And that's just today's news. It's surprise after surprise, ever since us church folk got the boot from the palace. Even the royal knights. Their leadership was bound to the church more than anything, and now he's out on his ear too. And replaced by Sir Heisme Nocturne, no less. You believe that? The royal knights led by a Ujeef, of all things. Though he's one of the six partisans himself. When he speaks, everyone listens. No one's about to complain. Even Parliament now invites citizen representatives to hearings. Strange to think we'd been deaf to the voice of the people until now. It's unbelievable, compared to the days of the autocrats. How swiftly the times change, eh? Credit where it's due. I think it's thanks to his young majesty. Remember last year's coronation? Unprecedented, that. Saw heroes of all different tribes celebrating the king's victory. Celebrating among the common folk, even. They tell me some of the younger aristocrats have taken to calling it the Great Reconciliation. It really is a tragedy, what happened to his father, the king. But considering how his sons turned out, I hope he's at peace. Indeed. Yet the real test is still to come. The first year has seen a lot of good, but we've still got our share of problems. <sighs> Speaking of his majesty, I've also heard some folks saying they've seen a boy wandering around these parts who looks just like him. You don't suppose? Ah, can't be. Without his escorts? Besides, what business would a king have in this place? <laughs> hmm, suppose you're right. Mountains upon mountains of appeals from the people. 
How many days will this take to sort? <laughs> After all the trouble you took to flee politics. And somehow you're now the preeminent ladyship of your house. Such is fate. Hmm. Despite everything, this year has passed in surprising peace, hasn't it? Honestly, with the royal scepter disappearing like that, I feared more dissent. Perhaps after Luis, they swore they could never let that happen again. Either way, more and more are dealing with conflicts calmly and openly. Promising. It promises that I'll have an eternally cluttered desk. Mm. Here, your majesty. I've brought in the next load. Mm. <sighs> and there we go. <laughs> Not half bad, right? Hey, isn't the king supposed to be here? When does he? I've said countless times not to leave unannounced. Oh, all this decoration doesn't suit me. How did Louis and Forden put up with all this damn finery? Your Majesty? Are you here? June is back from her inspection. Oh, apologies, Troll. I'll look for him now. Wait, I'm coming with you. <gasps> oh, good grief. <laughs> Some things never change. Not that they should. I'd say life has changed plenty for us. <laughs> Yet somehow our captain's the same as he ever was. And then, well, I might have got a bit too fresh with them stuck-up sanctists. But those bloody church folk been looking down on us for years, you know? Still, it was other sanctists what stepped in to keep things peaceable, too. Uh, I reckon they're not all bad. Guess me cogs turning. They lost both their sant effects and the saint lady last year. <sighs> Got their own struggles, I expect. <sighs> It excuses all of them, or makes me want to go up and shake a sainter's hand, but you really put some perspective on it. Hmm. It was good talking to you, too. You know what, lad? You're all right. You ever need some good, honest work? I'll get you squared, eh? you'd be wandering around without your escorts again. How is it, being able to hear the city's honest thoughts? If you told them you're the king, it'd knock them sideways. Sorry you ended up coming all this way. Maria's actually out on an errand right now. And I suppose I'll wait until she comes back. You sure? That girl always ends up on detours. No telling how long she'll be. Either way, best keep your head down. You know what happens when you're too obvious about this. Sooner or later, the Lady Captain of the Royal Guard... Oh, there you are! I knew we'd find you here for crying out loud! Phew! So you were here! Speak of the devil. Let us return, Your Majesty. And I thought I had informed you that Juno would be back from her expedition today. I have a few stops left in the city, though. You do know I practically sprinted out the gates to find you. To settled, I shall come with you on every excursion. Not dressed like that, you aren't. You know how we like snooping around, inconspicuously. Hmm. Point taken. He'll be fine. His Majesty is not about to fall prey to some alleyway scoundrel, surely. Right, Your Majesty. If you see Maria about, do slow down for a chat. She'll be shattered if she finds out she just missed you. Fine. Now, Your Majesty, once your business here is finished, please make sure you return to the palace with all swiftness. Thank you. 
come now. Yeah? Hmm? 
That's a good kitty.
जाएगा I mean, no. <laughs> Even so. Hey. Hold on. <laughs> See you soon, I hope. Majesty. You know, I was just telling Papa, even through all that mess, everyone's really been working hard. Am I keeping my promise properly from back then? Yes. You beat the villain, and now the city's full of smiles. And I'm sure Papa's smiling down on you too. That's good. You're... <laughs> I'll try to do my part with what I've got. I want to help everyone understand that the world could be a better place if we can join hands with one another. Miss Fabian's fed so many hungry people since things changed. Some of those people even said they found their place there. I think I did too. 
If we can all change together for the better like that, we'll be closer to your majesty's and papa's dream. Mm. And I want to help with something too. I want everyone across the land to be able to smile. Yes, I expect great things, my trusty advisor. Yeah, thank you, your majesty. Oh, thank you, your majesty. We should be the ones thanking her. Feels like I can see the entire country's future in her smile. Everyone! Long time no see! How have you been? As we find ourselves afield, I thought I might visit Alsace myself. Hold on a tick! Those people there! Surely not! Naturally, we're drawing attention. We didn't all have to go at once. Needn't fuss, old thing. It's been too long since we were all together again anyway. Lady Tudor, did she really come all this way in a runner? Could have asked His Majesty to pop over and bring you back with a teleport or two. The unmitigated nerve. Oh, it's fine. I wanted to take in our country as it is. It's definitely a little rougher outside the capital's walls. There's still traces of melancholia around, and the odd human roaming about. We're sending soldiers out for every incident we can. It's not easy to hear the voice of the people from more distant regions. I guess it's obvious. But just because you're king now doesn't make you suddenly all-seeing. A lesson I learned last year. In the end, I was blind to a great deal of this world. Never would have learned if I hadn't pushed out the door and seen it with my own eyes. <sighs> A year ago, I would have just said we could fly over ourselves. Mm. I mean, let's be real. The capital isn't going to fall apart if we just sneak over for a little tour, is it? Of course not. We specifically put precautions in place to keep things running. Yet, it has only been one year. We cannot be too complacent too soon, lest the dissidents seize on the opportunity. There he is! Over there! See? I told you, that's his majesty, innit? Might have been a bit too obvious. Oi there, your majesty! You dare hoy the king? You swine! Steady on, Hockenberg, calm. You needn't draw steel on the poor fellow. We're the ones who indulged in this little day trip. Your majesty, thanks for all you do, really. I have to say, my life's a lot easier now. There's more work to do every day. But we're in this together. We believe in you. Everyone's so supportive. Kind of brings back memories from last year. Rather. It's the sort of thing to get a chap all misty-eyed over the past. What a journey it was. We really did just leg it up and down the country slaying dragons, eh? Can't believe we actually survived it. They were dangerous times, but exciting ones too. When we fought to appease the dragon god, I had no idea we would have to face another four dragons. Nor I. Never thought the day would come when I'd be hailed as a dragon slayer. Life is full of surprises. Right. It was a hard road, but we did have fun together, didn't we? Looks like we're drawing a crowd. Time to get back to work. 
Indeed. A veritable mountain of tasks awaits us, and I will see it crested. And not long after, the new year dawned. fun, but a uh, daily jaunt down to the slums is one thing, and a proper journey is quite another. You're a king now, lad. You've got the people's expectations on your shoulders. It's all right to just sit on your throne and mind the home front, you know? I want to do what I can for the people. If that's not kingly, then the crown's just slowing me down. Come on, this is no time for jokes. <laughs> Never the fearless get about, eh? Well, I take your point, lad. Magler and the humans make a fine barometer for the anxiety still swirling in the country. So you go out and give it a proper survey. Where it is, and how much is there. If people can't face their anxieties, they can't keep their eyes forward. And if they can't do that, we'll have a bally hard time moving forward as a nation. More of you. So you want to get a better grasp of it all. That's your most important duty as a ruler. That's what you're thinking, eh? Right. If that was your plan, you could have just said so. Sounds like a fine idea to me. A proper spot of fun, besides. Wouldn't expect any less from our king and captain. Well... Since I'm the Bally Court Engineer, I've no choice but to come along. I'm the only driver fit to maneuver the Royal Skyrunner after all. And why, you're the Dragon Slayer King, bane of monsters all across the country. When I imagine what sort of wondrous encounters you've got next, well, I'm all agog. Yes, here begins our quest anew. Let us sally forth upon our... Uh, uh, hello? Uh, are you not listening to me? Sire, you've really got to stop chasing these ideas all on your own. You'll be the death of us. Once again, Sire, I've asked you countless times to give word if you're to leave the castle. Such caprice. Nurse, don't tell me you called for them beforehand. Saved us a bit of time, eh? Though, hello, what's this? I count only two of the six partisans. Short a few spears. For my part, I believe tis unrealistic for all of us to depart the capital together. Oh, so you've no plans to stop our little adventure, eh? Hulkenberg and I talked it over. We decided that if you insist on going, we'd rather go with you than stop you. I'm glad to hear that, but will that be alright? I was thinking back to our last fight with Luis. So many people supported us, but not for any high-minded ideals or arguments. They were supporting us because we were actively fighting a monster on their behalf. In the end, people make choices based on their personal experience and emotion. Even if decided justly and supported by prosperity, people may struggle to trust a king whose face they do not know. An invisible ruler is no cure for their fears. Right. I'm not opposed to the idea of getting out into the world again. Really, it might be the wisest move to make sure you're a king everyone knows. <laughs> Still, this early into the new year? <laughs> Tis never a dull moment in your majesty's employ. Bit of a smaller party than we last set out with, huh? 
But it's a pleasure to be on the road again with you. Okay, but can we really afford to have both our general and the Royal Guard's captain coming along for this? Tis natural course for the Royal Guard to accompany the King. And I trust my corps is not so feeble that it will fall apart in my absence. We'll make it work. Got to learn to trust others and delegate, right? We'll just have to lead by example. Thank you. All of you. Let's be off. You once heard my voice and answered a query in kind. Is fantasy a powerless creation? That timeless question. So long as life remains in the world, we seekers all shall search for our answer. But he will find his, of that I am certain. And it is thanks to you for believing in and guiding him. That was the true purpose of my royal magic, you know to seek and obtain guidance from denizens of a land beyond ours, a land that has not yet lost hope. And it was you who answered the call, armed with your hope, armed with the power of fantasy. You rose in glory. Such courage, such whimsy, and yes, what thrills. You have my sincerest thanks. Feels familiar. It's been far too long. Aye, the wind feels an echo of days past. Unusually poetic for you. Mm hmm. Hmm. They're awful, aren't they? They would have oh. left us behind. Oh. Well, I'm not certain we're in a position to talk, having followed straight after, saying we could just teleport back. Well, hey, we figured the kids might want to change your scenery, like. Wow! <gasps> Amazing! Poetic indeed, that the Scepter's absence restored order to Magla, and even greenery to the Sands. I'll say, I definitely like this view better! <laughs> Let's go.
Dear guest, from a world I shall never know. In your eyes, I know our journey was ultimately a fiction. However, I hope your memories of this fantastical adventure burn as bright in your reality. I hope the promise of our world echoes in you. With all my heart, I hope that fantasy gives you strength. Look at that. The rubble's just made for tourists now. I never expected a view like this. Let's see it all. Let's see the world. Yeah. A new journey now beckons. In days of eld, the people prospered and perished in turn. Struck by their ways, I wrote a book of my dearest ideas. A tale of fantasy. In my vision, they placed their trust, and so the kingdom breathed new life. The strength to believe in the unknown. That can change everything. Without a doubt, you will face all sorts of trials ahead. 
but carry onward with all your heart. Onward, fearless, into a world unknown. Thank <laughs> you.